Greetings, wrestling fans! Welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be doing another SmackDown review. Now, this SmackDown review, I will apologize for it coming a bit late. Honestly, this show, you know, it was I still enjoyed some of it, but it but it didn't really hit the level that I've really been enjoying as of late. And also, I personally feel my opinions, like, obviously opinions don't matter, it's just my opinion. But I just want to quickly say that I honestly feel like I can't win in some of my reviews sometimes. Sometimes, you know, I get people tell me, oh, be negative about SmackDown if it's not good. Or say positive things about Raw if there are things that are good. I mean... I personally feel sometimes I can't win no matter what my opinion is. If I personally enjoy something, that's how it is to me. But I'm just saying, I don't really want people to tell, tell me how I should feel. Just let me just say how I feel. And that's that. That's really it. It's not that difficult. I just wanted to bring that up, because I've been getting a few people, uh, you know, kind of been getting at me with that. So the, so the show began with Sonya Deville wanting to fine and suspend Ronda Rousey, and of course, you know, this doesn't happen because it's Ronda Rousey. It gets declined by Vince McMahon. And Sonya was also told if she interfered in the main event, she would be fired. So that was how the show began. And then we had the Lethal Lovers Los Lutherios take on the New Day once again in tag team action. Another really good good matchup here. This one was another um this one was another fun one. You know, I didn't really care for Humberto and Angel Garza really all that much when they were singles competitors. But ever since they've become tag team partners, I've really been enjoying them a lot more as a tag team. I mean, I knew they had potential. I just wish they were put in a position where I could legitimately care. I've definitely been enjoying Los Lotharios as of late as a team. Because, hey, I've always said they should be a team, and WWE has, uh, get, has delivered. Roman Reigns vows to Goldberg Goldberg. I don't know what he means by that, but Roman Reigns will indeed win. There is no way he is losing. And then we had Natalia and Aaliyah for like the fourth straight time, and Natalia this time would, would win. I had a feeling Natalia was going to win this time, and uh, one thing, and the thing that I didn't like about this is that they said that it was pinfall and submission only, okay, but, Natal but Aaliyah grabbed the ropes, and for some reason the referee didn't count it? So... Are you saying there was no disqualification in this match? Because when you grab the rope, it's a rope break. You have to break the hold. But Aaliyah grabbed the rope, and the referee didn't even, you know, call for a rope break or tell, tell Natalia to release the hold. So technically this match was no disqualification then. I mean, I, I really did not like this. I thought this was just a dumb way to have Aaliyah lose. Like, I knew she was going to lose, because it, it was kind of obvious. But, if you're going to have Aaliyah lose, why have it in a way where she can't br break, the, break the hole by grabbing the ropes? I just thought that was kind of dumb. Saying that it was, you know, pinfall and submission only, okay, fine. But... The fact that she grabbed the rope, and then there was like, still no rope break, and then she tapped out, and they still counted it as a win for Natalia. I kind of, I really didn't like that. I thought that was kind of dumb. 
and it and it and it made and it and it kind of makes up and it just makes the whole rope breaks thing, you know, completely pointless. If you're gonna say they're gonna have to win by pinfall and submission, that's fine. But to just completely ignore a rope break, yeah, I really did not like that. I thought that was really dumb. But Zia Lee would come out and uh, help Aaliyah. Man. Zia Lee has really just not done much since uh, coming to SmackDown, and I kind of feel bad for her. We get another we get another episode of the Insane podcast. I've definitely been enjoying Sami Zayn really, really a lot. He's he's a, he's just so entertaining. He's so entertaining. He's so good at his job. He knows how to get people to hate him. This is why he's been a heel for so long, because he knows how to get people to hate him. I hope he wins the Intercontinental Championship next week, because he deserves it. For, for his loyalty and his service to the company, he deserves to be the Intercontinental Champion. People have been saying Nakamura has not been a good champion, and people want Nakamura to drop the title, because he hasn't defended it in a long time. So I think it's time we crown a new Intercontinental Champion next week in Sami Zayn. I doubt it, but I'm really hoping we get a new Intercontinental Champion. Happy Corbin would defeat Cesaro. Did not really care for this. And then, uh, it, w and then it was revealed that Madcap had a black eye and all that other crap. Not really anyone cares about mad crap moss. Goldberg, you know, he says he said his usual shit that he always says. Not not that I care. And then the main event was an absolute banger. Naomi and Charlotte Flair had an absolute incredible match. The matchup was fantastic. Yeah there were a few slip ups and botches, but you know I still enjoyed it. I thought the I thought the matchup was really, really good. The chemistry between Charlotte and Naomi is fan freaking tastic. I really, really, really did enjoy this. I thought it was great stuff. The matchup was the way I expected it to be, but I was very, very surprised. It was a clean win. I definitely thought they were gonna do like a DQ. Where Charlotte was going to lose, where, where, where you know, where, where it looked like she was going to be on the ropes and lose, but instead she'd take the DQ. She and no, Charlotte was never losing. Naomi was never winning. Naomi was never going to win. I never once ever said Naomi. I, yeah, I wanted Naomi to win, but I knew she wasn't going to. I knew she wasn't going to. They are not going to ruin their WrestleMania plans. And no, giving Naomi a two-week title reign just so then she can win the title, hold it for about a week or so, to, and then have Charlotte win it back is kind of the most stupidest thing that I've heard anyone say. I don't, like, if you're going to take the title off her, the title should stay on Naomi. If Naomi's ever going to win gold again, it needs to be a long run. I don't want it to be sure. Great match though. Definitely enjoyed it. I do recommend this match. This match was definitely really fun and I enjoyed it and I was on the edge of my seat. So and then so so Charlotte would win with a natural selection. Sonya Deville would antagonize Naomi. Then a two-on-one beatdown between Sonya and Naomi happened. Um, Naomi and Charlotte on Naomi, sorry, happened, and then, and then the, the, the baddest bitch on the planet, Ronda Rousey, slips her way down to the ring. She slips her way down to the ring, completely embarrasses herself, just slips and falls flat on her face as she's running to the ring. Like, yeah, she literally slips, right? You see her running down, and you see, and you see her slipping, and then the camera just quickly pans away from her slipping, but funny enough, when Mandy Rose slipped, the cameras were full on on Mandy Rose, and then they made a joke out of Mandy Rose slipping, but when Ronda Rousey slipped, oh no, we got, 
No, 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 we're not. No, 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 no. No one's. No one saw that. No one saw the baddest bitch on the planet slip over. Yeah, give me a break. But yeah, Ronda Rousey slipped over, and now they've confirmed a match that Ronda and Naomi will face Charlotte and Sonya at at the Elimination Chamber. And that's your SmackDown review, guys. I still enjoyed the show. Some of the things uh, that I enjoyed were good, like Insane, Los Lotharios, New Day, Charlotte, Naomi. You know, those, those things were good. I definitely enjoyed those. So, other than that, there were, there were obviously some segments that involved the Usos and Viking Raiders. I don't really talk about segments, but they happened. And, uh, yeah, that's what I've got to say about SmackDown. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that thumbs up. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below. And I'll see you all next time.